Hey, you okay? So how's the strip coming? Any word yet from Last Call magazine? They're not taking submissions right now. You should let me talk to Bruce, the editor. Thanks. I appreciate the offer, but... But this is something you have to do on your own, right? Well, I guess if it doesn't work out, you can always go back to the corporate world. I was just ribbing you. Besides, you said you were off that stuff, right? That's right. I'm off that stuff. got a lot of interest from a couple of brand name beer and wine purveyors. I can't say who at the moment, but it looks like national sponsorship. Pretty sure I can seal the deal in time for next issue. Right, here's what I want you to do with that. Give it to Bob over there. I'll take a look at it. I can do that, but do you, you think you could just take a couple minutes now? Actually, no. I'm running late as it is. Bob? Bob! I'm going to the Skylark. This guy's gonna leave a strip here with you. You okay? Great, so thanks again for coming in. Really appreciate it. We'll be in touch soon. Hey. You going to work? Yep, that's me. Have you been here all night? Not really, eh? I got here early. I just wanted to see you, you know. Before you start? Sure. So, do you have to be drunk by noon in order to write a comic strip called Drunk by Noon? I don't think so. It's just what I do. Okay. I've been thinking about a new character for my strip. Oh yeah? It's just an idea for a scene right now. and I'm not sure it's gonna work. There's this woman who's an activist. Uh-huh. People think that change is impossible. They think that everything happens because of what people in power do, not because of what the rest of us do. That's why everyone feels powerless. That's why everyone falls in line. So in the scene, the activist, the woman, she proves that change is possible. How does she do that? It's just like you do all the time, okay? The activist, she's at a bus stop. And two people that support the wars are there too. And you know, they've fallen for all the media propaganda. So the activist, she starts to give them some information one-on-one. -on -one. When they start to connect as people, they start to get it. What do you think? That's it? That's the scene? The idea is that in spite of all the power, all the media power held by those six corporations that control everything we see and hear, the point is that all that can't stand up to one person talking to another person. Sounds great. I want to see it. Did you meet with the editor? Today. I'm going to meet with him today. You're going to be great. So, so you should call me next time before you come over. Um, I might let you in and you won't have to sleep on my stoop. Hey, you awake? That's Bruce. He just walked in. The editor of Last Call Magazine? You should go talk to him about your strip. Do you want me to introduce you?
you mind if I join you? Yeah, sure. Actually, uh, I'm about to step into an important meeting. It won't take but a moment, I promise. Thanks, Sonic. You're the best. That's what they tell me. So what's this? This is my strip. The one I was telling you about. I thought you were going to leave this with Bob. I was going to, but it's my only copy. Take this. There's a copy shop on 17th downtown. They're open 24 hours. Listen, I have to warn you. Last Call Magazine's not entirely my call, even though I'm the editor. The publisher has final say on all significant content matters, so, uh... What's your target demographic for this? Tell me how we're going to make money. Last Call's in public access printing. We're a growing business concern on both coasts now. Talk to me. How's this trip going to help the magazine? Young people, professionals, artists, people that work for a living. They all read the magazine, and it's important to, you know, reach them and give them access to new ways of seeing and interpreting their world. Hey, I'm with you. That's why I get into this line of work. What does the publisher see? The publisher sees a drunk in a bar before noon. That's good. But there's also a woman. She's not just a woman. She's into politics. Yeah, people are. Ah, so it's that anarchist slash grunge demographic you're trying to deliver. Am I right? No. It's not about delivering. Oh, that's where you're wrong. It's all about delivering. It's about delivering eyeballs. The more eyeballs, the more the advertisers will pay. Listen, this is your first strip, so you don't understand how it all works. That anarchist slash grunge demographic has what? Three dollars in their pocket? And guess what? That three dollars has already been earmarked for beer. Why would Budweiser spend significant amounts of cash with Last Call Magazine to reach out to that anarchist slash grunge demographic? They've already won that battle. You see what I'm saying? Listen, I like your work. You've got talent, and it's clear that you're an artist. Come see me when you've finished your second strip, or maybe your third. And don't forget what we've been talking about here, okay? Art has a function in this market. All you have to do is figure out where you fit in. Hey, I've got to run. My meeting just showed up. I'll take you home. An army of one. That's so stupid. Don't say that. You should thank them. I know that. I'm just saying the billboard is stupid. What the fuck's an army of one? Bill! Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt. I just couldn't help but overhear what you were talking about. I'm Nadia. Bill, and this is Sally. Um, I'm curious, you were talking about that, that poster. Well, it's just pretty dumb if you ask me. Yeah, I'd have to say I agree with you. Did you know not one member of Congress has a child in the army, but they're perfectly willing to send other people's children to war? Don't you think that's odd? Not really. I'm all for icing Arabs. Hmm. I happen to be Arab, actually. I mean, you're not saying you want to see me iced, are you? That, that's not what you're talking about, right? If you killed any of us, I would. But I'm American. Look, we don't want any trouble. So just keep your opinions of terrorism to yourself, okay? I'm, I'm serious. I was born in the United States. I'm a U.S. You're citizen. You're not an American if you're a terrorist. You give up the privilege by doing that. So what makes you think I'm a terrorist? You're the one who said you were Arab and you obviously don't support our troops. What? Just because I... Wait, just can you just listen to what I have to say for just a minute? That, that's all I'm asking. Look! I warned you! I'm not going to warn you again! <laughs> oh my god, come on, Belle.
think that's funny. <laughs> 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 there you are. The usual. Hey, Annika. Where'd you get this? It's new, isn't it? Yep, a friend of mine does it. It would be perfect for Last Call magazine. Don't you think? I think it's hilarious. Yeah, they should publish it. Probably wouldn't make them any money, though. Money? <laughs> Who gives a shit about money? From what I understand, Last Call magazine is a growing business concern. Is that right? Yep, that's what the editor tells me. A growing business concern. Well, what do you know? Bruce said that. You know Bruce? Yeah, I guess you could say I know Bruce. You guess? He's the editor. Yeah, Bruce says business has really taken off. They're on both coasts now. Bruce is an asshole. Always has been. Magazines aren't businesses. Well, most are, but not less call. People need to see shit like this. That's how I got into this line of work. You're in publishing? I think I'll have a little chat with Bruce. He'll come round. You think so? I happen to have the final word on the matter. Whoa.